I'm Callum and today I'm going to talk about the six modes of documentary. I've been researching documentaries and with my findings I'm going to identify to you the issues regarding factual programming. Observational documentaries are often referred to as fly on the wall documentaries. This is because the camera crew literally film without involvement on events that take place. Animal documentaries are perfect examples of observational documentaries. What we see in the observational mode should actually be real. Actors don't realise that they're being filmed. The famous saying, Big Brother is watching you, sums up the definition of an observational documentary. This mode of documentary has been successful because audience like to take an intimate and exposed look into the lives of others. Super Nanny is an observational documentary. Parents film footage of their children on a daily basis. They then send this footage to presenter Joe Frost. Sometimes the children don't realise that they are being filmed. Ice Road Truckers is another observational documentary. It charts a time period with a look at truckers who drive in treacherous conditions. The Family is a third example. In this, a family is filmed over a period of time. We learn about their personalities and their daily routines. The early poetics like Nanak of the North didn't have diegetic or non-diegetic sound, as sound only came in the 30s. Early poetics relied on the beauty and art of moving image. Sans Soleil is one of Chris Marker's early poetics. It was made in 81. The themes in this were travel, looking into other cultures and commenting on social and cultural aspects of other countries. It noted that Japan was technologically advanced, yet with ancient traditions. In Flight Over Lithuania, there wasn't a presenter. Like the 20s documentaries with no sound, one could interpret the images in their own way. The panoramic shots symbolise the themes of nature. The tranquil pace and the steady shots help you to contemplate, reflect and speculate on the documentary. Through the Eastern Gate was made in 2007. Themes in this poetic are identity, looking for meaning in modern day life and observation of other religions and cultures. There are lots of reds and oranges in the shots. These colours connote love and passion. They are poetic, compassionate colours. Undercranking, putting to soundtrack and overcranking and creating pace are used to create poetic feel. Poetic documentaries encourage audiences to think and interpret. In the participatory mode, a filmmaker or presenter engages with a situation and encounters it. He or she is on a quest of research and dependent on the honesty of witnesses. He or she attempts to influence others and is the, has the most powerful presence in the documentary. In this mode we learn more about the presenter and he or she is involved in all events that unfold. Mary Queen of Shops is a participatory because Mary Portis is on a quest and to help shop businesses and she is dependent on the owners of the shop and the public. Country House Rescue is a participatory documentary because Ruth Watson is trying to help others with their old houses to make money. The performative mode has some similarities to the participatory as in both the presenter is on a quest of research. The key difference to distinguish the two is that in the participatory mode, the presenter is trying to help others, whereas in the performative, we learn about the presenter's opinions. This is why the performative mode is more personal and subjective, because we learn about the opinions of one person. It's their perspective. Walking with the Amazon is a performative, because we see Ed Stafford on his quest through the Amazon. We learn about his attitudes and opinions. We see him when he's emotional. At times, it is like a visual diary. Super Size Me is another performative documentary. Reflexive documentaries acknowledge the documentary That's constitution fine, and they Those expose and flaunt it. They inform people that what they are watching is not fundamentally the truth. Instead, they show a truth. They look at the issues of realism. Exit Through the Gift Shop is a reflexive documentary as the presenter is talking about how he wanted to make a documentary. The expository mode directly addresses the viewer. The sound of the presenter's voice matters as we don't see the presenter, we like to hear the sound of his or her voice. Expository documentaries explore the specific topics and the images that, we, that support the voiceover. Narration is a dominant convention in the expository mode. The voiceover puts across an argument and with the use of rhetoric. These documentaries are concise and to the point. 
Unlike poetics, the viewer doesn't need to think or interpret what they are seeing. In effect, the voiceover provides the answers for us. And as mentioned, another key to the expository mode documentary is to put across a point and sometimes a strong argument. Right. While China is an expository documentary, Lassa. Bernard Hill provides the voiceover, yet we never see him. The aim of this documentary was to persuade and change Western audiences' attitudes to inform them that China wasn't a country plagued by environmental problems. Day. Therefore, the documentary puts across an argument in the expository mode is used to do this. I've explained the six modes of documentary. I hope that you understand the codes and conventions. I hope that you can distinguish between the modes. This concludes my documentary on documentaries. Thanks for watching. Cut.